here. Um, a lot of familiar faces. Uh, it's been about 10 years since I last talked to all you guys collectively, losing to Georgetown in March of 2006. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, but uh, this is truly an honor for me. Um, this school means a lot to me. It means uh, a lot to my family. And uh, you know, this is just truly a, a big honor to be inducted to the Ohio State, the Ohio State University's Athletic Hall of Fame. Terrence, when you think about um, what you and your teammates did in your careers at the start of the, the era for Thad Mata here, what do you think you guys did, not only in, in your success here, but sort of in helping lay the foundation for the, the recent success and the future success of the program? Well, you know, when Coach Mata got the job here, uh, the team was a was in a bit of a funk. I mean, we, we obviously weren't... Uh, the greatest team. We weren't winning the way we should have. And uh, he came here, Coach Monty came here with a sense of urgency to win, uh, uh, energy that we didn't have um, prior. And um, it was infectious. And it, he sent it to us. And, you know, you guys saw it on, our, on the court, you know, the way we played. Uh, we played hard, played as a team. And that was some of the things that he taught us through his, my two years playing with him. And, um, you know, I'm very fortunate enough to have played for him. Harrison, how old are you now? 32. What's it like to be 32 and in a Hall of Fame? <laughs> <laughs> Is it downhill from here? Yeah, pretty much. Uh, that's funny you say that because uh, people were asking me, like, you're still playing and you're in the Hall of Fame. I said, well, yeah. it's like I might have to retire now. Yeah. But, um, you know, it's, it was very shocking to get the call. Um, something I, I didn't expect. I definitely didn't play basketball for this. You know, I played because I love the game. and. Yeah. Um, everything that comes with it is just a bonus. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's a very, very big honor and uh, responsibility uh, because this, this, this university is very important. But to know that you left your mark, you know what I mean? There's some people people think you left <coughs> your mark. Is that, how much does that mean to you? You, know, you understand what I'm saying? I do. Um, you know, it means a lot. You know, it's something that, uh, you know, I have two daughters and uh, yeah. they're not old enough to remember me playing. But things like this, uh, they're super excited for. You know, they're gonna be here and they're gonna they're gonna be here as excited as, as, as my mother and everyone else. And they didn't they never saw me play in college. Um, but that legacy is you know is very important and uh, you know it, it's a very important thing. How, how what are their names? How old are they? Uh, I have my oldest daughter is Olivia. She's 11, and uh, my second is Gabrielle. She's eight. You still talk to Coach Thad? Stay in touch with him as much as you can? Absolutely. Um, this whole summer, um, I was in the gym with, I guess, all the old guys, <laughs> Evan Turner and Mike Conley and all those guys who are still you know, playing in the NBA. And uh, we were working out together all summer. And um, Coach would pop in you know, in the gym and talk to us. And uh, I would go to his office and you know, pick his brain about different things. So I stay in touch with the whole coaching staff. See what you spoke about his first team here is being Holbrook guys that really bought in because as he, I think, says that like, you guys didn't have anything to go on with him coming in as a new coach and all that. Yeah. So I would imagine that really is special for him to see one of his guys get in the Hall of Fame. Yeah, and um, like, you know, a lot of us say the same thing, you know, whether it's Matt Sylvester, JJ Sellers, or myself, we owe a lot to Coach Mata because, you know, if he didn't come, we probably wouldn't be looked at is the same. You know, a lot of people, whether I'm in the grocery store or at a game, they come up to me and they thank me for, you know, the last couple of good years that we had here at Ohio State. And that means a lot. And uh, it wouldn't have been able to happen without Coach Mott. Can you what? tell us where you were when you got the call? Yeah, um, I was actually um, in Youngstown, Ohio, actually, one of my few visits to Youngstown this summer. And uh, I was having lunch with a, a friend that lived around the corner from me when I was growing up. and. Um, it's my first time meeting her new child. Uh, she had a new baby, and I haven't been home to see her. And I was having lunch, and I got the phone call, and she's like, she saw my face, like, what happened? And I'm like, you know, they told me not to say anything, you know, uh, until the press release. So you know, I sneakishly told her, you know, I just got inducted to the Hall of Fame at Ohio State, you know. And, uh, you know, maybe 
without that news, lunch would have been on me, but she paid, she ended up paying for lunch. <laughs> so um, it's a good thing I got the call at that time. Yeah, so you, she brought her new child and you had to one-up her is what you're saying? Uh, pretty much, you know. Um, <laughs> you know, it was, we were there for like 45 minutes and, you know, I was playing with the baby and everything and then I get the phone call and just, you know, life just changed, seemed like, instantly. TD, as you stand there, this kind of struck me, you know, we hear athletes say, if we win, everything will fall in place, and maybe they don't even realize. Maybe they say that because someone told them to say that, or maybe they really believe it. But um, you know, your senior season, you win Big Ten Player of the Year, which probably I mean, your senior stats were, or your career stats were very good, but that probably cemented you for this. Yes. And that may have not happened if you didn't win the Big Ten. If you follow my track here. So yeah. No. Just talk um, about is that something you? would bring up with another young student athlete and say, hey, I'm the example of, of that phrase? Uh, absolutely. Um, I've always um, been a team player first. And um, sometime throughout my playing career, whether it's high school or college, you always have one or two selfish guys on the team that you kind of have to reel in and tell them, like, look, <clears throat> the whole team wins and shines. Everyone gets love. Everyone gets the the gratitude from the fans, the media, but you have to buy into the system and be a teammate. And um, once everyone did that, I mean, you saw the result on the court. I mean, we played pretty well as a team, my, especially my senior year. And, um, you know, without the Big Ten championship as a team, I wouldn't have got the Big Ten uh, player of the year. And um, so I told him that day when I, when I found out I won that award, this is a team award because without you guys, I wouldn't be able to have it. You know, playing a boardman, did you always want to go to Ohio State, or what, what was your aspirations of going through high school? Well, it's, it's funny you ask that because, you know, um, I went to Boardman, um, I transferred in. So I started Boardman local schools and, and middle school, and I didn't know anyone, varsity head coach. I didn't grow up watching Boardman basketball. And uh, the first day of uh, school, the varsity basketball coach comes up to me, hands me a stack of letters. And at this point, I've been playing basketball organized for two years. And, I, you know, college basketball really wasn't on the radar for me. I was just a kid playing because I love basketball. And he, he hands me this stack of letters. And Ohio State is included in this stack, and along with uh, maybe 10 or 11 other schools. And at that point, the first day of school freshman year was when I realized that I might have a chance to play basketball at the collegiate level. Um, never thought about it before then, and um, at that point was when I kind of took it more serious than I have been in the past. Good to be tall. Huh? Yeah, uh, <laughs> you know, and that's that's all it was at that time was definitely height because I definitely wasn't good at the time. <laughs>